visualizations in DLR and in many cases you are forced to visualize things in DLR set. Sometimes it's graphical representation, sometimes it's not. When is actually not the typical graphical representation that is given to you, then you, have, then, then you have to visualize something, we tend to have a problem. But the way in which you want to solve the visualization set is actually not to visualize at all. I mean, when I say visualization in the sense that you're sitting and thinking what might be, no, 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 no. What we got to do is capture that on your paper. So when you look at any of these DLR sets, we have got a process to deal with. First, we have to decipher. We have to read and understand the information that is given to us. Once we decipher that, the next thing is to identify what is the question ask, asking us to do. Right? Then we'll understand what is the path forward. Then we'll have to do the layouting, which means capturing the information in, in, in a neat manner on our working sheets and eventually resolving the set wherein we are deducing things. In these kind of sets, where you are demanded a lot of visualizations, Right, it's not about simple mathematical calculations and demands a lot of ways in visualize things. You, this layouting becomes a very, very absolutely crucial part. And that's something that you got to learn. I have picked up this CAT 2023 slot 3 set. I have left uh, the link in the description. You can solve the set. You might have already done it, but you can solve the set and then you can watch this particular video. And again, I'm really sorry about this 12 font size because it gives me a lot of space to work with. That's all. I mean, sorry. I'm, I'm assuming that you have to, you, you're using a laptop. If you're watching it on a mobile device, the, I don't know. I'm, but I'm just going to stick with this. Okay. Now, this say, uh, set says that uh, A, B, C, let's, uh, uh, this set said A, B, C, D, E, and F are six police stations in an area which are connected by streets as shown below. So we have got a, a visual representation of that particular connection. Now the question is, how do we represent this on a piece of paper? And probably we can represent the exact same manner. They are connected, we can see A and B is just kind of, B is just connected to A, A is kind of connected to F, C and E, and then you've got F connected to E and A, E connected to A, F and D, D connected to E and C, and C connected to A and D, okay? Fair enough, it's not a complicated connection, which is fine. Four teams, team one, team two, team three, team four, patrol these streets continuously between nine hours and 12 hours each day. Okay, there are four teams this traveling around these uh, connected roads. I don't know, let's, let's call it a road, right? From nine to 12, the team needs 30 minutes to cross a street connected one police station to another. Combine that from 9 hours to 12 hours, so 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10, 10 to 10.30 and so on and so forth. So there is bit six traveling that they would be doing. So that's basically the story. All four teams starts uh, from A at 9 hours and must return to A, uh, station A, by 12 hours. They can also pass via station A any point on their journey. So in fact, they're starting with A. Obviously, if they go back to B, go to B, the only way is to come back to A. So that's what he's saying. They can pass via station A any point in this journey. Other thing is that uh, everybody starts with A. All the four teams start with A, go somewhere in this uh, pass, uh, has, has to take six journey uh, or uh, six routes or they have to pick up the six because they're starting at nine reaching back at uh, 12. all right so this this seems to be find of not so much of a complicated set but you will have thinking about figuring out the complete story of each of this team and how do i how do i navigate this now here layouting should be important but then we'll have to identify what the question is asking now if you look at uh, question number one is saying which of the following station is visited the largest number of times which station and there is a definite answer to that question how many times do teams pass to station b in a day there's a definite answer to that question which team patrols the street uh, connecting D and E at 10, 15, a, uh, 15 hours? That is definitely answer the question. How many uh, times uh, does team 4 pass through station E in a day? That's a definite answer. How many teams pass through station C in a day? So for station C, station E, I mean station B, uh, practically we'll be able to get information. What it also tells us that these are kind of set which is all or nothing, which means here if we crack the complete story, we should be able to handle the set. It's like, it's like if you crack it, 15 marks. Oh, and if you make any single mistake, everything may be problematic. 
So at this point in time, we are able to capture the information. The first, of course, is to capture this uh, chart that is given. You don't have to capture the exact same way it's given. I decided to capture like a circle or you can, there are six uh, uh, places so you can actually capture it like a hexagon. So let's look at A, B, C, D, E and F. Right, so like a capture like a circle, it doesn't need to be captured in the exact same manner. So there is a connection that is between A and B. There is a connection between A and C. Then C is connected to D. D is connected to E. E is connected to F. Uh, e is connected to A. And F is connected to A. Okay, now we've got four teams. And, and the way in which you would want to Im imagine this, okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to look at four teams. But then how do I draw the table? So the, the, the decision that I made to draw the table is to draw like this. So this is nine... Uh, 9.30, uh, 10, 10.30, 11, 11.30 and 12. The reason why I decided to draw like this is because it is much more visually easy for me to look at this and go, okay, there is actually a connection between two points. It's visually easy. So when you are actually you are solving these kind of set, which requires is visual representation, my recommendation, suggestion is that what you draw on that piece of paper, you draw it as uh, visually as you imagine in your mind. Therefore, our life will be much more easy. I, I don't, I'm not necess necessarily saying that this is how you should have captured this information, but I'm just going to capture the information like this. Okay. Now, we know that everybody has to start with A. So this is A, 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 and you have to uh, go and reach back to A. Fantastic. So let's see. None of the street has more than one team traveling along in any direction at any point in time. This is fantastic. So if one team is traveling here, one team is here during any point in time, whether they are going from A to C or C to A, they are the only one allowed there. So there are uh, these four teams. The four team will pick, uh, what do you mean? Pick, 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 pick any of these four lines. It's like they're picking any of these four lines at a given point in time. There will no, no be any overlap. That's fantastic news. Then team two and team three are the only ones in station E and D respectively at 10 hours. So here, what has to be absolutely careful is to capture this in information correctly. We read two here, we write in one. This can create a lot of problem. It is supposed to be 10 hours. We end up writing in somewhere else and everything everything can be there. So have double check this. Okay, so we will we'll just capture the information here. We say that team two and three are the only one in station E. e as a team at, at, at looking at 10 hours. This will be E, this will be D and nobody else is there in D or E. D and E is gone. Now, no longer av I'm available for the other two teams, right? And then look at uh, the next one. It says team one and th th teams one and three are the only ones in station E at 10 30 hours. Fantastic. At 10 30 hours, team one is in E, uh, team three is in E, and there is nobody, no other E, which is great. Let's look at the next one. Team 1 and 4 are the only ones uh, in station B and E respectively 11.30 hours. 11.30 hours, which you're looking at team 1, team 4, station B, station E. We can capture that information without, without any problem. We can, we can write team uh, B and uh, team E. And then it says, those are the only ones. There is no more B, there is no more E there. Okay, there can't be B or E. Okay. Team 1 and 4 are the only teams that patrol the streets connecting A and E. Team 4 never passes through station B, D or F. If you look at these uh, number 5 and number 6, what is very really fascinating in number 5 and number 6 is it's giving an additional constraint. When you look at this, Team 1 and Team 4 are the only teams that patrol the street connecting station A and E. That's a station E and D. That station, e, that, that, that particular line is not available for team two and team three. This diagram is actually applicable to team one probably because team four has got a other, other story. Team two and team three is looking at a completely slightly different diagram. So at this point in time, instead of visualizing, is better to draw. So we can actually uh, look at it and say that team two and three is behaving slightly different. They have this A. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's let's write it a little down. They have got this A. There is B. There is C. There is D. There is E, and there is F. 
and here the, there is a and b there is a and c there is a and f there is f and e there is e and d there is c and d and this diagram is uh, is, for, is for team uh, uh, to team team two and three, and when you look at the story of team number four, team four never passes through station B, D, or F. The B, D, and F is practically not available for team four, which means we are only looking at A, C, and E. So team four has got a slightly different uh, story, but team four is very very simple. There is just A to C and then to E. There is nothing else there. So capturing this which means this is only for team number one so what i'm at least one and i'm thinking and doing is that team four looks very cute team four looks absolutely cute team two and three looks fine it's probably easy to crack this one here and then we'll probably figure out team one by the way there's already a b here b is very cute because the only connection to b is a from b you can only go to a from A, the, 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 to reach B, you have to travel from A. So we have got a B here, which means this has to be an A. I think that we can uh, uh, write that here. So that uh, got you an A. At least we could kind of do that uh, for sure. Uh, let's try and crack the other uh, sort of story. I think what is going to be absolutely uh, 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 easy to deal with here would be the story of team number four. We say we are at E. Okay, the moment you are in E, you the only connection is to A. There is no connection between C and E. If you are in C, you have to go to A. So wherever there is an E, you can only travel to A. From the, only from A, you can travel to E. So this is easy to look at. So that that's an A. Now here, when you say I, I'm at A, I'm at A, I can only go to C or E, but I cannot go to E here. E is gone. E is already out. We actually find it, but this has to be there for C. This is nice. So we have got this to be C. If I'm in C, the only way to go is to go back to A or come from A, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you'll back journey. This has to be A. And so this, we have got this, this, this thing has to be an A. And then this could be either uh, ACA or AEA. We've found out this uh, story. Now let's figure out the another one that you look at is that this diagram because this diagram has got one this line this AE line doesn't exist we are looking at A tung D I am using but tung just that just A mm, D how do you go to D in one step we can't obviously travel this path A tung tung D A tung D this is the only way to go to D in this path A tung D if the line was there you could have traveled from AE and D but that AE connection is not available for team number 2 and 3 so the only way to go there is A tung D so therefore that has to be a C Oh, wonderful, wonderful, and then we can also go up and, and look at this fellow A to E. How do we go? This is for two. Team number uh, two also has this diagram A to E. The only way to go from A to E is we can't travel like this now, we can travel like, like this fashion A F E. So, there you go. The only way to the, 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 the journey is to go A F E. Now we can uh, come back. I think we can we can uh, start looking at it in any order. So this has to travel A is tung A. It will be A tung A or A tung A. But already C is gone. So A this is gone. So only way is to take this path. E has to be here. We can we can we can we can we can uh, write that. So that has to be our E. And then now the team number one has got some uh, constraints, which means A F is gone. A C is gone. A E is gone. AF is gone, AC is gone, A is gone. The only thing that is left is AB. So, 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 so we can we can do that as be a B. If something has to be a B, we know that it has to, it's only connected to A. So this has, has to be A. Okay. Now let's figure out these two things. So we have cracked team number one and team number four, which is fantastic. So let's now look at what happens with team number three. E two to A. Okay. Now uh, from E. You have to go to A in two steps, which is the only way to reach here. We can't do A, Tung, Tung, no. Either it has to travel this direction or it has to travel that direction. That's the only possibility. We don't have this complication of this line in 2 and 3. Which way to reach here? Tung, Tung, yes, you are right. Tung, Tung, A. Sorry, I'm sure that some of you are very irritated with this Tung, Tung logic, but that's what is going through my head. This is how I'm going to solve it. This is my way of solving it. You can do whatever you want to do. So we, we have got E, D, C and A. Now this is this is this is uh, fantastic. This is this is this is uh, uh, good because uh, uh, A B is gone, 
AC is gone, AE is gone for 2. In which case, AE is not there. AB is gone, AC is gone. So, here, the only only point is that B and A is gone, C and A is gone, E and A in which was not available. So, the only only A is F to A. So, this has to be an F. So, fantastic, fantastic, sir, fantastic. This has to be an F. Where is my F? So, this needs to be an F. Okay. The great, great. Now, let's look at this is another situation. We could, we could, we could, we could just e to where? e to a is gone. e to d is gone. d is gone. This is for team number two. From e, it obviously a at a there is no connection. Either he has to go to f or it has to go to d. There is no other players. Okay, d, d, uh, d line is gone. So the d line is gone. This is not available. So it has to be f. This is that that has to be f. So we have got our F here. Now what we then want is the last one. F to F. F to F or F to F. Oh, two possibilities. F A or F E. Uh, F A. Possible. F E. Possible. There's no violation. This has to be either A or E. So there you have it. We have got this is A or this is E. What we have done, by the way, is by simply drawing this bit of extra diagram instead of visualizing in your head with this complication and now your visualization sort of was much more simpler and easier to do and then it's a question of uh, logically resolving this this is a kind of game where the starting may be a little slow but once you get off get, after playing with the game for about five minutes Yes, I'm using the word game. Everything is like a game only. It's like if you think it's a game, it's it's a game. It's it's nice. So 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 then life will be good. So but we'll have to get our 15 marks. We'd be sure, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's start with question number one. Which one one of the station is visited the largest number of time? I intuitively I'm thinking it has to be either E because E was there in all place time. There is one A or E there. Let's count. There are two possibilities. Let's count E. One, two, three, four. 5 already there is 5e 1 2 th uh, there is 1 5 or 6e so that's what it is if you look at f f is 1 2 3 uh, that's it uh, let's look at c possible there's a question how many stage 13 paths are facing 3 in a day obviously 5 is not there anyways okay so f uh, e is already 5 uh, so th c cannot be but we can answer that question c is 1 here 2 here 3 here we can't see any more c's so c is 3 we can we can just uh, um, answer that question there c is equal to 3 and then uh, we have got uh, station d d i, I, I hardly the figure of d is 1 2 that's it that's it so answer to this question has to be answer choice number uh, 4 how many station pass through station b in a day i think we can it's just a matter of counting this is fantastic where is b 1 b 2 b no b no b no b bichara b is only 2 Okay, so we have, uh, we, have, we, have, we have got that to be equal to 2. Uh, then the next question, which team patrols the street connecting D and E at 10, 15? 10, 15 will be between 10 to 10, 30. This line, D and E, D and E is here, which is the team number 3, which is fantastic. Let's uh, take, uh, go and say team 3. How many times does team uh, 4 pass through station E in a day? Team 4, one time, two times. That's it. So we have got answer to that question as well. How do we crack this set? I mean, when you actually, when 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 we have solved this set, you would have got really okay. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? And the reason why that would have happened is that you only thought about this particular diagram and you captured this particular diagram too, uh, the diagram, and then started solving the set only this diagram, this complicated line. Uh, this this line here was not available 2 and 3 and there, there are a little more constraints for it. If you have read 5 and 6 together, if you kind of decided to draw these two diagram, your visualization would be that much better. So the point of visualization is this. Don't visualize in the sense. Don't sit and go, oh, no, no, no. Capture everything on the uh, on our working sheet and our life will be good. I hope this made sense. Goodbye.